If the packaging and product placement is right, will you buy? When you go into a grocery store, you notice the items they put at eye level, and you notice the packages designed to catch your eye. Or you notice the things at the end of the aisle, or right by the checkout stand. And they market to specific age groups. This is what the AARP crowd will like. This is what millennials will like. This is what, what Generation Z will like. Packaging and product placement. Well, it applies to a lot of things. Things we buy in grocery stores. Back in the 1960s, a guy named Joe McGinnis wrote a book called The Selling of the President. He noticed how in the 1968 election, marketing executives were involved in the political campaigns of the Republican candidate. They were packaging him. They were placing him for particular demographics. So it's in products, in politics, they package people. And oh, by the way, just so you know, that sometimes pastors package themselves. And if the person is a certain age, looks a certain way, talks a certain way, has a certain family structure, Ah, we'll buy in. We don't often go to the depths to ask real questions of character, real questions of intention, real questions of heart. We go after something if it's packaged right for us or someone if they're packaged right for us. But in Luke chapter 17, Jesus says a very interesting thing about that. He's talking about how the disciples will long for one of the days of the Son of Man. They will long for a period when Christ comes back to restore all things. But then he says, there will be many who come to them and say, look here, look there. He says, don't go away and don't run after them. In other words, don't run after the person who tells you it's this or that. No matter how cleverly packaged, no matter how cleverly placed, no matter how cleverly marketed, what that person says religiously is taking place. This is a call for discernment. Discernment. There's a great verse in Isaiah that says that the Messiah will not judge by what his eyes see. Discernment means we're so rooted in Christ and his word that we're not attracted to the product or person placement or packaging. We can see beyond that. Our spirits are trained to discern because our hearts have been trained by the words of Christ. So be careful when the time comes when people are running after someone or running after something Jesus says. Jesus says there's going to be more to it than that. Let's look at that in the next couple of days. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me. Hope you'll seek first the kingdom of God. And remember, Jesus said, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Amen.